Today's a good day to show you what it looks inside of this cabin. This is the third building that is on this property and uh, let me tell you it was built in 1780s approximately that's the that's the date of this building. The rumor is that Abraham Lincoln stayed few nights in this cabin. How cool that is. This was passed down from generation to generation since uh, the owner of this property was the general in the army and this land was uh, given by the government to him way back so this was the first building on this property so let's see how it looks inside before we go inside i want to show you the foundation actually was built out of rocks and also the steps was built out of boulders they're huge they're massive uh, and uh, that's that's when you know this was built way back when let me show you actually the fireplace and how it was built and how it's still standing this is so amazing look at the massive rocks that were placed together they were put together they were dragged all the way up and they're still sitting there they're still standing check this massive rock and the porch sits right on top of this massive rock they didn't have foundation this was the foundation this was the build this is how they build it back in the day i mean honestly they found a boulders and they just placed them under the porch or under the house and this is the way they build things back then i mean look 300 plus years or something like that 250 plus years and it's still standing this as well another boulder this is the foundation of this house and they have a crawl space i have not been down there i'm somewhat hesitant to go there but i'll have to one of these days so check out this small door i'm about five foot eight and this door is literally if you see it it's not it's no more than six foot and only reason why because people ask why such a small doors well because back in the day they didn't have a good heating system so they did not want to build such a large doors for the heat to escape so that's why they built it smaller doors so the heat stays in the house because as you know heat rises up and stays up so that's why they built smaller door Check out this massive fireplace and uh, we still have this hook for a pot. This, this was used uh, to hang a pot and cook your meal. How cool that is. Yeah, still, still intact, still here. So hopefully we'll continue cooking some meals. Massive fireplace, massive. Uh, this is, uh, I would say, a one bedroom, maybe two to three people used to live in this house because you only have this one upper bedroom, uh, you have a kitchen, this is the living quarters, and then you also have one restroom. Uh, so for two to three people, uh, I believe this would uh, accommodate. Check out these uh, windows. They're actually... They have some latches, I'm not sure, but it still goes up and down. It still goes up. You see that? This is good. We'll be back after these commercials. Anyways, this is a stopper and it got stuck. It got stuck, <laughs> which is all right. I'm gonna have to fix this. It looks, yeah, it looks, it looks like a clay. It breaks like a clay. It's not a cement, it is clay. So this was used uh, to insulate and close the gaps inside, uh, inside of these walls. So, so the heat and uh, everything else not gonna penetrate through the walls. Uh, but just imagine how cool this is. Just imagine 250 plus years and this building is still standing. It's still rigged, it's still in the original state it still has this beautiful feel does not smell uh, because well number one 
I believe because of all the ventilation that went through this house, I mean, it still has a good vibe to it. Uh, so, right in here, they have a kitchen. Uh, they have a kitchen, I think this was the dining room. Uh, but, the kitchen, all the, all the appliances, it looks like they're from either 70s or 60s, because uh, this, oh wow, I did not know this. This is a compact kitchen, so basically this is your refrigerator. And whatever that was. Maybe a dead body, Russ. No, this <laughs> bunch of... Disgusting. Yeah, I guess squirrels were living here as well. Look at these doors. Just, I want you to look how cool they are. I love it, I love it. They're built literally from wood. Everything is so original, everything is so easy, simple, but, but practical. Yeah, practical, look at this. Look, you, you got a finished look, you got a finished look from this side, and then you got a rigged look from this side. Because nobody's gonna see it anyways, right? Nobody's gonna see it, so it's all closed. Okay, so this is a door for outside. You can see either the door moved or <laughs> this lock moved. You can see how out of line they are. You see, this is where this thing was supposed to be here, but they're so out of line because because this floor moved and everything else moved moved with it as well. Let's go upstairs. I'm going to show you how upstairs look. Before we go upstairs, there's also a small little closet. When you're walking on these stairs, it seems like you're gonna fall because house has shifted, so the stairs also somewhat unlevel. So you're walking somewhat lopsided. So this is your bathroom. There's a cool cast iron tub. And right here, I believe this is where they slept because uh, this is the uh, only space uh, that you would you would see suitable for a bed. Then they also had a small closet for their clothes. But check out these things; I mean, they are pretty cool. So this is the back of the house and uh, as you see everything is still somewhat intact. I mean yes they are caving this uh, house is shifting so we don't have to do something about this. Uh, you see this big beam is out of place and actually is dry rotted so I'm gonna have to replace it to pick the house up and replace it. But this is was this was your foundation, literally of rocks. That was it. I mean, this is how the houses were built. They brought some rocks, they found rocks, and they used this as foundation. Uh, this was their steps, big boulders as well. They found big boulders. They brought them. I don't know how they did it. Uh, probably lots of manpower and uh, horses or mules, something like that. But that was their 
steps. This is very, very awesome, very interesting how they used to build houses back in the day. I do wanna pick this house up, level it out, uh, change some of the beams, and um, restore everything that is breaking apart to have this beautiful, beautiful structure to continue to stand so we can enjoy this and also our kids and everybody else can enjoy this house. Okay, check this out. This is literally next to the house. They have all these boulders, all these rocks. I think they brought some extra rocks and uh, they just never used them. Uh, so they're still here and uh, yeah, I can, I can use them for my foundation. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. This video has come to the end. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe, consider subscribing to be part of our family. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and comment on the video. Listen, your input is always needed. By the way, we're gonna be doing lots of episodes about restoring this property, this particular cottage. So if you like this kind of content, stay tuned. Stay tuned to these videos. They're coming up very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Till next time.